Hello, I'm Mark Hall Patton. I want to welcome you to the Clark County Museum. We're coming into the holiday season and as you come out to the museum and go through the houses, you'll see that we actually decorate the houses to the different time periods of the houses. Now this particular house is our railroad cottage. It was built between 1909 and 1911. So when you go inside here, you'll see that the kinds of decorations were much more minimal than what we might think of today. And you won't see any electric lights on the outside, anything like that, because those didn't exist at that point. So we don't show those on this house. If you come out to the museum during the holiday season, all the houses on Heritage Street will be decorated to the time period of the house. So each one will be decorated differently depending on what time period the house is representing. So let's take a walk inside and see what it looks like in 1910. So when you come inside the railroad cottage here, you'll see one, it's a fairly small house, but this was the first mass housing that was built in Las Vegas. This one was moved from downtown, from 3rd Street actually, and uh, restored here and is on display. Now when you look at the decorations, you can see they do have a tree and a little bit of greenery here and the man and woman of the house are in the back getting ready for a major meal because of course that was one of the main things that you did for Christmas at the turn of the century in the 1910 period was it wasn't a lot of presents, but you would have a you know, very large feast. That was a big deal. And so we have the porter and his wife. The porter here worked for the railroad and his wife would have kept house. And you can see that they didn't have much, but this was very typical of the kinds of decoration that you would have seen at the time. Now, one thing I will tell you, a lot of people talk about the fact that on trees of this time period, you might have had candles, and that was used once in a while. But the thing about candles is you didn't have them lit every night, not like you would electric lights today. You would, if you had candles, you would put them on, and on Christmas Eve, you would send everybody out of the room and you'd have a bucket of water and a bucket of sand right there. You'd light all the candles, everybody would come into the room, ooh and ah about the tree, and then you'd blow them all out. Because even at the time, everybody understood the problems with fire, so you would not have them going all the time. So that's something that we never show out here because fire's not our friend on site. But you'll be able to see this in all of the houses, different time periods. And I also want to welcome you, if you have the time, and invite you to come out. That's Friday and Saturday, the second Friday and Saturday of December. We will be open from 5 to 7.30 p.m. those nights. We will be free those nights. You'll save that onerous $2 entry fee. And you'll be able to see not just all the houses, but the exterior lights. We have strolling carolers. We have Santa here. We have free hot chocolate. There's a lot to see and do crafts for the kids. So please come out. It is our Heritage Street holidays. And otherwise, at any point during the holidays, please come out and see the decorations and learn a little bit about the different kinds of celebrations that have been done over the years in Las Vegas, in Southern Nevada, in Clark County. This is Mark Hall Patton. Remember, we're only open seven days a week. It is only $2 ahead, and we're open from 9 to 4.30. So please come out and join us.